Hello everybody, my name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to plan a route uh, using a tire software and it is a classic example. We're going to plan a route from uh, Rika's Cafe to Lumis uh, with very popular, very good roads. And the way I do it, I connect the starting point with destination point. So here you go, this is Rika's Cafe, I'm changing the name to a start and now I'm looking for a Lumis Cafe which will be our finish point. I do it this way, there are other ways to do it, uh, but I like it most, for me it makes more sense and it's just the easiest, the quickest way. Uh, here you go, Lumis Cafe, adding the point, changing the name and this will create us uh, a route that is very simple going through main roads 50 miles long. Now it's very boring and too, well, in this example probably too long and also we want a petrol station stop uh, mainly also to, to show how to do it how to add a, a petrol station stop I'm using this website which is very good, I highly recommend uh, very easy to find a petrol station in the area you're riding through so here you go, I'm looking here nothing really there uh, empty, empty and you probably want a big names, uh, especially riding on Sunday, just to make sure it's open. So it's somewhere there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag this route to make sure it's going uh, that way through the petrol station. Here you go, adding the route. Changing the name for a petrol, just to make it easier. Not every satnav, I think, shows the name. Uh, my does it, so I always do that. Uh, so I know it's a petrol station stop. And also, here you go, just to adjust to make sure we go in the right way, petrol station. And also, I added a second point just to make it even more visible on a sat nav that this is a break point. I do it for, uh, for stops, just adding two points to make it more visible uh, and to not miss it. <laughs> okay, so now it's a very simple route, and we got the three most important points the starting point, finish point, and the petrol station point, but we go into main roads, which is very boring. And now we're going to change to B roads and some maybe uh, smaller roads as well. Not everybody likes the small roads, I do, so I add extra small roads as well. Now, different satnavs connect the points differently, and if there is just few points, there is very likely that your satnavs uh, will show you a different route and different other satnavs have uh, different routes as well so to avoid that risk or to lower the risk uh, we add in extra points so there is less poss less ways to connect these points you you go in you go in uh, exactly the same way and also i highly recommend to not put the points on a junction the best way is to put after the junction not before, definitely not on the junction, but after the junction, ideally a few hundred yards uh, after the junction. What happens if you put on the junction, uh, sometimes uh, satnavs tells you to go straight, then collect the points, which is just a few hundred yards there, and then make a U-turn, which is very, very annoying, especially a group of people riding behind you. So we don't want that. If you place the points after the turn, after the junctions, you almost completely avoid that risk, almost completely. And here you go, just changing the roads from big boring A roads to some uh, B roads. Here you go, and adding extra points just to make sure we go in that way. Even though the line shows you this way, you want to add extra points to make sure you actually go that way. Here you go, and put me on a junction so adjusting going through small town here but there's no other way really and changing the points that's what often happens when you put the point on a junction that's exactly how may happen what may happen if you put not enough points or too close to a to a junction so we add an extra points as well you go to make sure we're going exactly this way and one extra point here after the junction and that's pretty much it we've got 
uh, three the mo most important points plus some extra points on the way just to make sure we go into interesting B roads uh, to have fun and what I do I change the name of the points uh, to come down to the destination point uh, yeah like this way uh, this way I know how far more or less we are from the break from the destination point and also uh, that we go in the right way some sat nav may automatically revert the route if you start going the, the wrong direction so this also makes life easier for me and now saving as a gpx file this is for garmin and also you want to probably save for uh, tom tom riders as well uh, if you want to share with your friends most people use tom toms these days you know saving and then when i do the route i save the files i close and reopen to make sure everything works and i'm changing for a gpx file that's how we saved and that's what we need we need a sat nav file and you don't change anything here just okay and looks good to me everything came back calculating and you see even even the software cal calculating so the same works for a sat nav it calculates the route so i hope you like it uh, and yes yeah, see you on the right thank you very much for watching